वेरी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन एंड यू रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ वन सिंगल लाइन एंड फ्रेज इन सीक्वल क्वेश्चन सो बी वेरी अटेंटिव ड्यूरिंग इंटरव्यूज पे अटेंशन बिकॉज दैट गिवस यू अ की Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL Interview in 50 Question Series, where we are trying to learn hands-on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So we are already done with the select basic joins as well as the basic aggregate functions. In this video, we will be done with sorting and grouping as well. Then we'll be moving on to advanced select and join, sub queries, and finally ending with advanced string functions, regex, and clauses. In this video, we are going to solve this question called customers who bought all products and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 29th video of this series, customers who bought all products. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in. So Amazon and Adobe, kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called customer with two different columns, customer ID and product ID, and both of them have data type integers. This table may contain duplicate rows. Customer ID is not null. Product ID is a foreign key that is a reference column to product table. This is the most important line of this question. Let's look at the second table called product with one column product key and the data type being integer product key is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table we are asked to write a solution to report the customer ids from the customer table that bought all the products in the product table order of the result does not matter let's go through this example and see what do we get in our output so here we have two different products in the product table and various customer ids and the product key basically what they bought so if we look at it what all customers bought both these products 5 and 6 so customer id 1 bought 5 5 as well as 6 so customer id 1 should be in our output customer id 2 only bought 6 so not in the output customer id 3 bought 5 and 6 so customer id 1 and 3 should be in our output so to solve this question we need to learn an important concept about foreign keys because the entire solution depends upon this let me switch to excel and let's try to develop a logic so when i say this column product key of customer table is a foreign key to the product table this means the values in this column can only take values from this or can be null so what i mean by that it since this product key is a foreign key to the product key column of the product table and the product key column of the product table has 5 and 6 and these are unique values as the question says that product key of the product table is a primary key so non null unique values so 5 and 6 so values in this product key column of the customer table since this is a foreign key can only be either 5 or 6 or can be null it cannot take a fourth value once we know that then this question becomes kind of easy because now our first goal should be for every customer id count the different number of products they bought so what we can do is from this table called customer group by the customer id and count distinct product keys that will tell you the number of different products that each customer bought so let's go ahead and write this query so from this table called customer if i group by the customer id and return the customer id id and count the distinct number of product key and let me alias this as count and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output So now for every customer ID we have how many different products they bought so this is what we get after grouping by the customer ID in the customer table so this is what we have now we can clearly see that customer ID 1 bought two different items and in the product table there are two different items similarly for customer id 3 but customer id 2 only bought one item whereas in the product table we have two different items so just by this we know that our logic should be to compare the number of items bought by each customer id to the distinct number of items present in the product table and we will have the output so what we can do is after we group by then since we are grouping by and we need to compare the aggregate so for every customer we counted the different number of product keys also why we are using a distinct here because this question says this table may contain duplicate rows so we do not want to count the same product more than once since we need to filter that is only keep those customers who bought all the products in the product table that means we need to use having to filter so we can do 
having this count, this count that we got for every customer ID. So let me go ahead and cut it here. So having count of distinct product keys of the customer that is distinct product keys. These are the distinct product keys count should be equal to count of different product keys in the product table. So should be equal to and there here we need to write return count of product key from the table called product. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get here. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Now you might realize the importance of this line. Product key is a foreign key that is reference column to product table. Think about this. If this would not have been mentioned that product key is a foreign key. So that would mean that this column can take any value. So even though you have five and six in your product, if let's say one bought say a product called seven and eight here, if you count for customer ID one, the number of distinct products that they bought seven and eight, that is two. And here, if you go back to your code, so you will count, okay, for customer ID one, we have two different products bought, which is equal to two different products. But is seven and eight same as five and six? No. So you see, you realize the importance of this statement that this is a foreign key because this is a foreign key. It can only take values in the product key or can be null. That is why this logic and this code works. Had it not been the case, this question would be really difficult to solve. So yeah, let's submit it. Let's see if it passes all the test cases. So this is accepted and this is how we do it. So very tricky question and you realize the importance of one single line and phrase in SQL question. So be very attentive during interviews. Pay attention because that gives you a key to what logic to use to arrive at the solution. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.